Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a super easy Drake type beat. This video is going to be directed towards beginners. And um, yeah, originally I did this in, I did this with uh, like third party uh, plugins like Massive and Lounge Lizard. And then I said, oh, let me convert this all to, to um, FL Studio native plugins. And sounds just as good so you know that just goes to show you you don't always need third-party plugins but anyway um drake has a lot of styles like his energetic his dance hall his sad love songs and his pop stuff but um for this beat i'm gonna go with his sad you know his sad r&b post breakup for this progression i'm just going for two chords an f minor f sharp minor seventh to a d seventh and there's going to be a little like little lick in between some ear candy which you will see in well which you will hear well i guess c2 in a second Okay, and that's our chord progression. I told you, pretty simple. I'm just gonna throw this in the mixer, put an EQ on it and low pass it. Which is done on a ton of Drake tracks. Just adding some resonance and Dropping the lows just a bit. Okay, cool. Let's move on to the bass. I'm going to grab Citrus and um, use a preset called Deep. Drake uses a lot of Moog bass sounds and a lot of heavy 808s, but... I'm going for a more smoother sound. I think this bass works well. And I'm turning on the pluck feature. Just so it doesn't resonate so much. So I'm keeping the bass pretty spread out, but with a few back-to-back -back hits. Yeah, like that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to throw it in the mixer and name it and color it. Really get in the happy habit. Well, get happy too if you're sad, but get in the habit of naming and labeling shit. It just makes things so much easier. Okay, and I'm using a fruity fast distortion just to give it a little more balls. Moving on to the drums, I'm just using all FL Studio samples. This comes with any version. I'm gonna grab an 808 kick and an 808 snare. You hear these sounds, these samples on so many records. So 
So I'm going to put the snare on the three and the seven. Which is super common in this type of music. And the kicks, just put them wherever they they feel right. Drake uses a lot of double double hits for the kick. So I'll throw some of those in there. Alright, cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, even though I said I wanted to keep this really simple, I wanted to um, layer that snare with a clap and just do a few things to it. I'm going to give it an envelope, shorten it. Just like that. And then just layer it. And then shift it slightly off the grid so it doesn't hit at the same exact time as the snare it's just little things like that that really make your music shine but moving on to the hi-hat just throw that in in the channel rack put every two every four steps and then just put the hi-hat rolls wherever you feel wherever you feel like it basically gonna do like a hi-hat glitch and for the ending I'm just gonna speed up Another thing I like to do is change up the velocity. Most people do every other hit, they lower lower the velocity to make it sound like a real drummer. And then we can just change with the pitch. It just spices things up. Okay, so like I said, this was a super easy, simple Drake style beat that was directed towards beginners. I did a quick mix of it. Um, I'm not going to show that. It's a little more advanced, but I, but if you would like to see it, um, let me know in the comments and I can make a video about mixing or how I mix this track or mixing another track. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. And here is the final version.